Today we are taking you out on an adventure that may be a little shocking and unheard of to where most of us are from. We are in the Philippines and we'll be exploring deep in the jungle to find an ancient practice of a tribe that would bury their dead, not in the ground, but in the sky. You can see the first human skull right here. I love these adventures, they're raw, they're unique. Yeah, we gotta watch out for the bones. There's bones right there that fell, that fell down. If I die, it's right here. What is up, explorers? Right here, we are in Sagada, Philippines. Now, to get here is no easy task. We had to literally take the Philippines' most dangerous road where many people have died on just to get to this spot where we are really high up in the mountain. Do you really think this is the most dangerous road? Dude, this is the most dangerous highway in the Philippines. The Halsema Highway is the most dangerous road in the Philippines. The roads are non-stop winding to the point where casually driving can make you feel dizzy or motion sick. We are going so high up now, it is getting colder. We no longer even need air conditioner. One hour later, non-stop windy. It is insane. We are still alive. I have not thrown up yet. In the rainy season, a lot of landslides can happen and the road is slippery and right on the edge of a cliff. Slang is always ready. Even though he's slumped, his hand is still on the camera. You know he is a good vlogger and filmmaker if he's sleeping with his hand on the camera. That's, that's pretty impressive, as I do the same. It's a long and hard highway to drive and is ranked the ninth most dangerous road in the world, but we have to take it for this. Behind me, as you can see, there are hanging coffins. And yes, there are bodies inside these coffins. And if you can look, there's even a cross right there. You can see everyone's name still on these coffins. And these people have been here for probably hundreds and hundreds of years. Now, when I mean they have been putting people in coffins in the mountains for hundreds and hundreds of years ago, I mean literally before the Spanish people even took over the Philippines. And as of now, in 2024, they are still doing this today, but only very little. Uh, this is now a pretty much fading away tradition here in the Philippines, but the tribe here believes that when you die, you want to be buried above ground because you're more protected. They believe the higher you are, the more closer you can get to your ancestors, the more closer you are to heaven, the easier climb it is to get to the top. That's pretty much why they do this. But there are other reasons, like they don't want to be buried be uh, underground because they believe that when you are buried underground, it is very dark and sad. And when you're above ground, you're protected. You can breathe the fresh air in. And again, you are closer to heaven. Uh, the way the bodies are placed inside these coffins, these coffins are kind of small. It's because when they die, they, put, they were put into a fetal position. And yes, they are pretty protected from the rain and everything else. It is a really different thing. We are here and there is a lot to go through. Uh, we're gonna be showing off the, the tourist side and we're gonna be going into the undiscovered locations that even the tourists and the people that live here do not know about. But first, we gotta cross the dangerous road to get here. Oh my God, at last, four hours of mountain roads. We have made it in Sagada. And well, we are gonna be staying here at a place called the Rockwall Inn because this is where Zark stayed last time when Zark made a video here. And here we are. And I'm just like looking around and I have not seen or been in a vibe like this in a really long time to come out and see like just little tree huts and, and, and like almost like just little buildings all around here since like Thailand and Philippines. This was like six years ago. It's been a long time coming and I'm back to my old roots and we're doing really cool stuff. Oh, yeah, right. bro. The the reason why I love on, the, on this apartment uh -huh. is near everything. If you want to go hanging coffins, you can just walk in this tourist spot. And if you go to the unexplored hanging coffins, you just walk. Yeah, so the unexplored hanging coffins, most people don't really go to that side. And you yeah. have a guide who's going to be kind of like yeah, helping us. It's very dangerous out there. It's only for explorers. I mean, legit explorers. Are we legit explorers? We are, bro. All right, good. Good. I mean, it's in my brand and name. I'd hope so. We have our window open. This huge moth comes right in here, goes right over me, right there. Dude, it is massive. In person? I think it's a bat, bro. bro look at that. Is a, I, th that is I thought it was a bat, too. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was a bat. That's how big it was. 
<laughs> I'm just trying to go to bed. I hate Philippines. I'm, I'm moving. I'm moving. Dude, what the f is that? <laughs> I'm a, I'm almost asleep, bro. And you guys are screaming. What the? F what the? F I jumped off my seat, bro. Dude, I ran so over here. Big. No! 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 We gotta get him out. So <laughs> Alright, he's out. Enough excitement to the day. Oh my I'm going to bed. Get ready for tomorrow. We gotta wake up. Let's go meet the guy. Alright, it is now the next day. I am over the whole bugs that almost attacked us. I looked online, it was actually called an Atticus moth. It's one of the largest moths in the world and actually the largest in the Philippines. So I thought that was really cool that we seen that. But we're alive, I showered, we're back to normal, we're starting the video now. And we have our tour guide and his name is George. This is George. He is our guide for navigating us through the deep jungle so we don't get lost while exploring the famous hanging coffins of the Philippines. George is pretty much the real Tarzan. And you'll see what I mean as you follow along on our adventure. Adventure. How long will it take to get there from here? It depends. How fast you walk? Yeah, true. Yeah. Do you have family in coffins here? Sure. Like everybody here, the the coffins are from here. So you know some family members or, or friends that are buried in those coffins yeah. as well. Yeah. Okay. One other question is like the spots you're taking us. Do a lot of tourists go to these spots? Uh, only. Only chosen ones. <laughs> Only chosen ones. Uh, yeah, okay. So we're the we're maybe the chosen ones today. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> okay. Okay. My boy Slang hiking in Crocs. Yeah. Literally hiking in Crocs, bro. Crocs is all. Only the one, bro. That's my boy. Yeah. Look at our guide. <laughs> oh. He's, he's OG though. He's OG. Flip flops. Yeah. We haven't even started yet and we're already getting tired. All right guys, we can literally see from the distance here, there's three coffins stacked on top of each other. Obviously we're gonna get closer, but if you can really see, it's right where my finger is right there. Now I'm gonna remove my finger. Might need to crop this in and zoom in. You can kind of see a, a little start to this. We are just going down now to the bottom, going through different little houses and huts getting straight down to the ground level before we start this crazy adventure. Oh, you almost fell? Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. You gotta find the right, the right spots to put your feet before you engage. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going there, bro. What is all that, though? Why? Why is there so many, bro? We're gonna, we're gonna have to, we're in their city, yeah. We're gonna have to get out of here quick. Oh, get out of here, get out of here! You can even see this, but up here, look at this. This is just uh, the leaves falling. Dude, we're like in between trees, no, uh, rocks. We're in between rocks right now. Going up. Here we go. <laughs> so these taste better than regular bananas. Why? What are these? Medicine. But yeah, it tastes like medicine, all right? Yeah. All right, the banana, and now we're going down, and it is very steep here. I mean, you can't even tell on camera. It don't do it justice. I'm just standing up, pointing the camera, like, down. That's what it looks like. Um, I'm going to have to keep one hand, like, on near the ground in case I have to grab it. God. My boys are sitting, it's scary. 
It is pretty steep, no joke. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It doesn't really show up on camera. Don't uh, grab on the grasses like this. They're very sharp. Okay. Look how cute how steep it is that. This is crazy, bro. Oh my oh, god. My Look at this. Oh, bro, you could literally fall right here and die. Watch out guys. Actually no joke. Watch out right here. Don't fall. Yeah, bro. Or it's literally near death dead. Okay. Have you seen? Huh? Have you seen? What that? No. Holy Holy <laughs> Whoa. Bro, Whoa. this could have been near Whoa. death for real. Yeah, he, bro. He caused a little avalanche, almost fell into you. You would have fell and literally died. Yeah, dude. Down the uh, down there. Okay, okay, watch said, out. We gotta watch. Goes far, but yeah. coffins is near. No, bro. Wow. This is no joke. Now I'm scared of slang doing stupid stuff. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy sh. Are you good, bro? I'm good. Do you have that on camera? I think so. Oh my god. I so. so I fell from up here and I fell all the way down here. And there's a dot, a dot, my, my lens. Came off. Actually came off the camera. <laughs> it somehow flew off. I don't know how. It was crazy. Look at this. Oh my god. Dude, what are you laughing at? That's not funny. Yo, I want. I at least gotta see the footage of that. Oh my god. Let's see. Let's see. Oh my god. Oh, I'm all dirty, ripped up, like dirty everywhere. I can't believe my camera's not broken. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh my better that you are not broken. Yeah, me, you're right, you're right. Uh, not your camera. Yeah, you're right. Don't Smart. Let your camera broken. You're right. Oh, Explorers huh. never die. Remember that. Explorers never die. See that rock right there? I fell from there and I fell all the way down without stopping until I got right here. Like I fell down. My foot ended up touching here. So I fell shoo. But I was so quiet and, and like focused that when I was falling, I wasn't like rolling. I was like, okay, how am I gonna get uh, it was crazy, it was all at once. Uh, first time that ever happened on any adventure where, actually no, pr second actually, but what the hell? <laughs> We're laughing about it now, but it was kind of scary. <laughs> but you can see that I, it, I was like a water slide on dirt sliding down. There was literally nothing I could do. And dude, these people over here, they seen it happen. So they were geeking, laughing mad hard at me over there. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. I, I don't know how, there was no way of stopping the momentum, dude. Basically, this is just a start. Just the start. Yeah. So what's Adventure next? Adventure coming. Adventures coming? Yeah, you like hiking and yeah. some adventures, some near-death experiences. That's what's happening now? Yeah, that's what's happening now. All right, we'll see. <laughs> now, that near-death experience could be a YouTube talk, which could mean baby Teletubby stuff, just for hype, or it really means near-death experiences. <laughs> People are falling. Slang just oh. fell over there. Okay. This is when I really do put my camera away, possibly. Huh? Look, look inside the cave, there's a coffin. And this one? Oh my oh god. god. Alright, wait for you. Oh my god, what did you do? Why don't you No, no, no. So Dude, don't don't it? die. This is the number one rule. What's the number one rule? Don't die. What's the number one? I think he's yeah. making us like a a path with a walk across the plank to get to the other side. What? It's actually funny because to this point right now, I don't know where I'm going or what I'm even hiking to. <laughs> like, no one even told me. I thought that was it, and now I'm doing all this other stuff. If I die, it's right here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! I was like, yeah, let's see the reaction. They're waiting! They're waiting for it! Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait, wait. Let's wait for his go signal, I think. It's... It's good. 
<laughs> oh my god. Bro, I'm literally walking the plank. This might even be harder. Oh my god. All right. Okay. Ah. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. Use your use your both hands. I can ah. Oh! oh. <laughs> you put the camera away. Bro. I gotta put the camera away. This is near death experience, though. <laughs> I just cut the whole tree down. So right now, if you're watching on Zark's thing, we're crossing this path that uh, George made us. When you come over here, you can see that he made us another path to get across the other side. Look at this. Wow, dude. You can step on that one. That's good, it has a spring. This? Oh. Yes. You step on me. Oh my. Oh my god, that was it. But you had your hands on the rock, so you're good. My boy brought the machete out to clear a, th a pathway. Wow. Thumbs up for George. Yeah. Best tour guide already. Oh. So George just made us this beautiful path. He's still going, not even talking, going right into the moment. <laughs> but you can see how these rock formations are. Again, this is why they believe that this place was underwater millions of years ago. But it does look like it was. Another interesting thing about Sagata is its geography. People believe this whole area was once underwater because of the way the rocks look. There have also been fossils found in the caves that belong to sea creatures. Oh man. First time seeing this. I've only ever seen this in movies, but not this one. These are ancient. Oh, sh that's crazy. Okay. Dude, this is nuts. I mean, just being in the Philippines right now, having a local show us around to these ancient areas, part of their old culture, is actually insane. You can see the first human skull right here. Again, oh my god, all the bones as well. So you can see all the coffins here, but if you look up even more, there's even another level. How did they even get them up there? Tarzan yeah. was born here. What happened? Tarzan was born. Oh, Tarzan, yeah. yeah. Seriously though, it's like they had to climb up with like their friends and kind of like use rope to probably push them up. But it's this is the most, one of the most interesting burial grounds I have ever seen in my life. And it's super unique. And that's like why I wanted to come to the Philippines because you just experience different cultures like this. Like when we're in Bali and we went to True Yun and they used to bury people kind of on the floor but it was to hide the scent of the tree because the tree smelled so good. So they used like bodies or something to kind of hide it. Like that's just different cultures and everything is so different compared to the, the US or Europe is how our standard traditions of just burying people underground. But they believe in different things here. It's just the, the great part of traveling and documenting and experiencing is this. Yeah, so a question for like people who are watching this, what would you tell them about all of this that we're seeing? It's a different world. It is, it is different world, yeah. Uh, and like what you're telling a while ago, how they put that one over there. See, gurus are born to be natural climbers. Uh, it's their backyard. So they play with it. And imagining before, we don't have uh, rock climbing equipment, like uh, static ropes or harness or parabiners. So they improvise. Like, you see that brace? Yeah. How it was stuck there and it can hold, like, how many coffins were there? Uh, like four or five. Yeah. Noticing those coffins, the small ones. Yeah. They're babies. They're not kids. Uh, they are old men like us also. Oh. But they are put in fatal position. Like, we believe that's where we came from. That's where we're coming back. Like, reincarnation. Wow. Uh, and that one below you? Yep. With a cross? Yep. That's a uh, uh, mix mix. Mix uh, Christianity and animist. Hmm. Oh, wow. Uh, because here we are animism. Animism. Uh, yeah, we believe that every living thing is an spirit. Oh. So 
that's why we hang them because we believe that their spirits will be free. One more thing is we don't want to carry the earth. We want the earth to carry us. Yeah. Rather than burying six feet under the ground, it's like totally darkness. <laughs> and it's heavy to carry. Yeah. For that one that is hung, you can still breath fresh air. <laughs> uh-huh. Wow. No, uh, that's true. Exactly, exactly. It's interesting. It's so different. I, I really I really respect and like that a lot. Imagining a lag of a tree and then they carve it manually. Uh, before, there's no chainsaw, there's no planers, there's no... So those coffins are made up manually. Uh, wow, you know, you're right, yeah, because look at the shape and everything. They're like a, a nice coffin shape. So I noticed on this cross that it says the guy's name with like an old paint. All right, we are now heading out of this area and he's gonna be taking us now to a cave. So I guess the cave has a lot of like different coffins above it and I'm not sure what else yet. We're gonna find out as we get there cause I'm learning just as much as you guys are at the same time. There's like a fire or something burning right in front of us. It wasn't there before. <laughs> Check out my new clothes in the link in description down below. Just randomly something's burning or they're making a fire? Oh, someone's burning something. There she is, she's just burning a little bit of the things there. <laughs> We're feeling more in the jungle than the first time now. Look at our sun, look at the sunlight from the smoke. Yo. It's a big ant, it's like this Where? Big. Dude, that's definitely some type of, like, Whoa! you up there. <laughs> kind of might be. Oh, big spider on your shoulder. Holy oh. oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Is it bamboo, right? Yeah. Wow. You can know how thick it is. Look how hard that is. <sighs> <laughs> Don't die, bro. It looks like we are now heading inside the cave yeah. and the air's getting colder. Oh, watch out. It's game over for you. Oh, man. Oh. Here we go. My God. I love these adventures. They're raw, they're unique. We're showing you guys something and we're experiencing stuff at the same time. Somehow I did it with no hands. Uh, uh, one hand. Yeah. Goddamn camera. See, so here's the coffins up close. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, we gotta watch out for the bones. This is like a hidden place, for real. And obviously you can see that this was in a fetal position, but I think after years of maybe moving them or whatever happened, they're kind of just crumpled up to what it is now. But look how this, this like is made. It really is just a pure log cut from a tree and just carved on the inside and just stuck together. How old do you think some of these are? The oldest uh, is more than a century. Wow, okay. <laughs> wow. Older than your great <laughs> yeah. father. But and then even down there, for some reason, there's bones right there that fell that fell down. Because of the earthquakes. Oh. Earthquakes probably. Wow. Yeah, could be. Definitely could be. I mean, I don't even know what is down there, but there is no way I'm going down there. Is there a reason why these are in the cave instead? They chose a perfect spot for them to be put there, so that if the rain or typhoon will come. Yeah. They will be, they will still exist. Oh, right, correct. That's why yeah. all these coffins are in these overhangs. Yeah, yeah. That's wow. why that's uh, one of the uniqueness here in Zagara because uh, our ancestors, 
even though they're gone. Yeah. But uh, it's still for us, they're still there. So I'll show you this one as we get even closer to it, how the inside looks. All right, explorers, here's a more detailed history of Sagada's hanging coffins. As we all know by now, the Sagada people have the tradition of placing their dead on cliffs and in caves. What I just found out is the elderly were expected to carve their own coffin unless they were too weak or ill, so their families would finish it for them. When the body was placed into the coffin, it would be put in a fetal position, but if it was too big, the bones would literally be broken to fit the body inside. This tradition is over 2,000 years old, and the coffins we saw today were most likely over a century old. Dang, you're in Sagada is like, it's one of the most expensive things. Uh -huh. yeah. So if you die, it's very, very expensive. You're gonna butcher 21 pigs. Really? Uh, wow. Yeah, in a year to finish all the rituals. But during the wake, they're gonna butcher around like 10 pigs until they are put here. And then after to be finished for one year, then they're gonna butcher the another 11 pigs. Is that an offering for them when they die? Like yes. For fruit and, and okay. every pig that was butchered, it has uh, like symbolizes something. And if you're, it happens that if you're a hunter, they will also butcher one dog for you. Oh. Uh, because hunter and dog goes together. So, oh, wow. So they'll bury the dog with the no, no, they will make the dog for medicine. Oh. Medicine for hunger. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Dang. Okay, I see. I see, I see. Wow. So, That's part of the culture here too. So different. Yeah. During the burial, if they're gonna bring the dead body in the rocks or something, there are some guys also that they're gonna bring the dogs yeah. somewhere also and they're gonna butcher it. Oh. So that uh, it's like both of them. Like, will be, and then they're gonna meet after life. Oh my god, George. Wow, let's check this one out. This one's all flattened or something. Oh, this one definitely fell from the earthquake. Let's go closer. Oh, shoot, bro. Yeah, you could see the skull. Jeez. I thought we were done, but it looks like we're not finished yet. Dude, this is the start. Oh. What was that? My boy hikes in oh. barefoot Tarzan stuff. Actually Tarzan out here. Wow. <laughs> wow, so the plant that he just took down. Yo, George. Be no, dude. George, Rich, is like the guy in those YouTube videos where they- Oh, they, how to survive or something? No, 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 where they build like a pool in the in the forest. Oh, oh all primitive yeah. building. Yeah, primitive yeah. building. Oh. That's literally George. He's the guy that's going to start building a whole pool right here. What is that used for, George? This one? Yeah. It's good for the eyes. For the eyes? Oh, he's literally harvesting herbs out here. <laughs> Bro, I'm going to start chilling with George more. <laughs> this is my new best friend. <laughs> right here. Oh, what about the tower? This is the end point. The end point? Oh. Can we climb the tower? Towards the end of our hike back, we went to check out the tourist spot for the coffins. So we were actually pretty lucky today because here, the tourist spot to see the hanging coffins that everyone can see is actually closed. And no one's here because there's like a town ritual going on. So we're gonna be the only ones here. This is really awesome. So originally how it works is behind this graveyard, there's a guard tower. You would come up here, pay the guard, and everyone could kind of come through here and walk here. And you kind of just follow this path and it brings you to the mountains in the back where you could see the hanging coffins. Well, it's starting to get a little windy, but we are going down the stairs, dangling through the side of the cliffs and the mountains to get to, I think, the area. So we're pretty much here and we start off and you can see coffins inside here. So let's check this one out. Wow, this one's hidden, bro. Yeah, it is hidden. This is a hidden coffin. Again, more stairs. Here we go. Oh. Let's go. Yep, big steps, big steps. Wow. These, I mean, this is why this is the tourist spot. There's so many of them, but the best ones I've seen, hands down. Look at this. So you can see right here, we have about what? Like one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, like 15 coffins, perfectly aligned, hidden from everyone. It's protected because you can look up and see that, that so the way the rock formation is, is like hidden beneath everything. So the water won't even touch them. It is actually bizarre to see this. It's really cool to see that all their names are still on the coffins as well. It's pretty nuts. And then there's even a hidden coffin over here that you can't really tell it's a coffin. Um, I have a zoom, took my zoom lens out and zoomed in on it. Here it is here. So you can't even see it. It's like literally like in there. Oh God, guys. All right, we're done. We did the hike. It's over. Uh, Zark's coming up now with slang. Uh, my boy uh, George and uh, Rich is talking, but overall, really cool. So the whole thing after this was to just get back up here, but we took another way that I guess is longer, which is nice because you get to go through the valley, all the different little caves you can see, and everything. But it was really cool. I mean, this was a very unique experience, and I had a really cool time. It's all part of the adventure. You're gonna get hurt, you're gonna fall, things are gonna happen. It's all part of the adventure and I really enjoyed it here in Sagada. Uh, Philippines is an amazing place and I definitely recommend it. Um, oh, how how you feeling now? Good? Well, yeah, we figured out the way by ourselves. Oh. Because you left, guys. Yeah, we did get up here first. Oh, yeah. we did get up here first. Well, that's because you were on Filipino time, man. You are taking so long. What? Yeah, so Dude. long. <laughs> we, we ended up trying to find you guys damn yeah well either way guys this was good we're gonna go we're gonna have to go find some food to exactly. end this george how, how this is why you're in shape huh how old are you what do you think uh mm, 38 38 ah yep. nearly how old i'm 37 but looks like 47 <laughs> nah, <laughs> no no <laughs> nah. but you are you are in good shape man you you you're a, a tarzan yeah really are tarzan bro <laughs> Damn. Well, that was good today. Uh, yeah. We almost actually ended up in coffins today, but wow. Only you, bro. Oh, yeah, only me, only me. Sadly, only me. And sling. Oh, sling a little bit, too. Yeah. 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 21 pigs before you get a... Oh, yeah, yeah, true. Plus chickens. <laughs>